Um, speaking of Jordan, you know what I was, I was shocked at is that you weren't in the last dance because you were the guy throughout all of that era. And I was surprised that you weren't in there. Um, did they, did they not reach out to you? Like how did that documentary work? Well, I'm not sure how exactly it worked. Although the woman producer who is, who is, uh, Jordan's you know, right hand person, mm. You know, she told me uh, a month or so ago about it. You know, we just no, we didn't, we didn't insult, we didn't try to insult you or anything. We just didn't have, you know, we wanted to go a certain way and didn't have room for you. Whatever. I said, look, I I don't care. I think you know, I think you're stupid not to have me. But at the same time, I wouldn't have done it anyway because I know I wasn't going to give up a lot what I know, and I still have it, and. Um, I wasn't going to say stuff that I knew they could splice right, and yeah, yeah. You know, leave on the floor. I said, I wasn't going to do it. I don't know if she believed me or not, but I wasn't. But, but, uh, well, I'm sure you stupid. had some, uh, I'm sure you were active in the conversation, particularly surrounding that season where the Chicago ownership and management decided to blow that team up. Right. I mean, I, no, of I, course, I, I'm sure of you were very they friendly used... towards them. Right. Um, no, I mean not really. I, I um, they used the segment in the beginning with me. Mm -hmm. They took it. They took it from NBC. You know, obviously they had NBC's permission. They didn't ask me, but they did. Like right in the beginning of it, because I interviewed Phil Jackson. We went to Paris. Uh, the Bulls played in the McDonald's Classic, and my whole family went to Paris for a week. And I interviewed Phil. And they took what they took out of that. They used uh, from that interview. So, um, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, people ask me about Jerry Krause and Reinsdorf and stuff. I was good. I was good with Reinsdorf, uh, fairly good with Krause. I think they really, they really did him and the, and the, uh, the documentary a uh, disservice by just not giving him the due. He's starting to get a little bit now from, you know, Pippen, I think Pippen gave him some due recently. But look, he didn't he didn't draft Jordan. So people say, well, he didn't draft Jordan. Well, Jordan didn't win until Krauss got there. Right. <clears throat> and Krauss Krauss put those pieces around him once, twice, three times, four times. Almost every season the components changed. You know, and, and he was against the Oakley, Oakley Cartwright trade. You know, he was down on C Cartwright the whole, you know, for the first season, told his teammates not to pass it to him in the fourth quarter, all that shit. And, and so who comes out looking stupid? He does. Jordan does. Kraus didn't get the credit he deserves for continually turning over the team and putting the right pieces next to Jordan. You know, like every year there was a new off guard. Mm -hmm. you know, at one time, I could name them all. It was like, you know, Bobby Hanson, Trent Tucker, you know, Paxson, Kerr, um, Del Negro, I think, on and on. It was on and on. And so, and then he did it at Power Forward. You know, he did Oakley, he did Grant, and then he you know, brought in Rodman. I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, that's how you build teams. Jordan still hasn't figured it out and as, a, as, a, as a management, as an owner. So, I mean, it's ludicrous. People, people like they, they didn't get it. People just they oh, Michael, listen to him talk. You know, listen to him brag. Listen to him boast. Listen to him bully. And that's that's what that documentary was all about. It's all about Michael. And you know, a lot of what Pippen says, I'm with him. I'm with him on that. I would love to interview Pippen. Yeah, uh, fact, yeah, he seems to be pretty open these days. Yeah, he's really open. I mean, well, look, he just said Phil Jackson was a racist on a on a podcast a couple of weeks well, ago. I, yeah, no, and, I, and I'd love to talk to him about that. You know, I, I, Scotty and I had a very good relationship um, while he was there, when he was retired. I, I'd love to talk to him about that. I'd love to. I got a note yesterday from Scott Williams, who was on those teams, and uh, he asked me to go go talk to him. Scotty needs you to talk to him. And I, I'd love to. I have his number, but, you know, I have no... I have no place to put it right now, so we'll. I'm working on something. Well, maybe, maybe that'll happen. But I, I, I stuck up from. You can look it up, as Casey Stengel would say. You could look it up. But when he didn't get that last shot, and it was given to Tony Kukoc, mm -hmm. I, I was totally against him. Not uh, against 
him sitting on that bench like that. But all the rest, I totally agreed with him. Why the fuck did he, Coney Kukoc, get that shot? You know, that made no sense. And, um, you know, so I, and, and I said it on television. I wrote a column about it. So, you, you know, it's not, it's right there to look, look and listen. Um, so I, I get his hurt. I mean, it was real. It was, and I found out recently, I, I, I looked it up because I looked up what I wrote. And I found that um, that previous play, um, Scotty did something wrong. I'm not sure what it was. And Jackson came down hard on him in the, in the, in the uh, huddle. And that's why he didn't get the shot. Yeah, I, I don't know that. I Ray, think. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hear what you're saying because I don't think me personally race was necessarily a factor. No, it was more or less the play before what had happened, and then saying, "Look, we're going to give it to Kukoc. Coach." He was perfectly capable of taking the last shot, and obviously he made it. Um, so, but but you know, again, people got to look it up. Guy played like 15 minutes in that game. Cool Coach, mm. come on. Uh, you know, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even playing. You know, like <laughs> Pippen, Pippen almost took them to the finals, for Christ's sake, you know, without Jordan. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was absolutely rooting for the Bulls to get to the finals without Jordan. Nothing personal with Jordan, but I thought it would have been a tremendous story. And they, they came so close to getting by the Knicks.